Hi, this is Mark Dickinson. Welcome back. This is an RLS session, rapid learning session. The rapid learning sessions are for you to get a topic in a short space of time and be able to share it with other people. This session is called Getting Things Done. So in this session, what I want to talk about is what's called the 80% approach. And this was created by Dan Sullivan. Dan Sullivan is a very smart guy. He has his own website and he talks a lot about how to get effective use of your time and he has many very very useful tools one of them that I've been using for quite a long time and really love it and I want to share it with you today it's called the 80% approach basically this approach is to get rid of two things one is procrastination the other is perfectionism these are two disastrous uh, impacts on our business life because what happens is they paralyze performance procrastination and perfectionism. If you procrastinate, procrastination means to put things off, to leave it aside, to be done later. Uh, oh, I'll not do it now, I'll do it this afternoon. Oh, not today, I'll do it tomorrow. This is called procrastination. Perfectionism is, perfectionism is it's got to be done perfectly. Well, these are two techniques that paralyze a business. They slow everything down. What we want to do is we want to go pedal to the metal. We want to have amazing results. We want to get those results as quickly as possible. How we do that? What we do is in this technique is we get as much done as we possibly can, as fast as we can, to get 80% of the job done. You see, the goal is 80%. Now, I'm not talking about customer service. I'm talking about a task, a project, a duty, a responsibility. If you can get 80% done, what's left? Very little. Only 20% remains. Now, to get from 0 to 80 requires a lot of energy. you got to go as fast as you can, right? You delivered 80%, but then what happens is the energy level naturally starts to fall off. Why? Because you have completed the majority of what you can do pretty fast and pretty easily. So as soon as you've done that, what you've done is the 80% that you're very good at. And if you do that as fast as possible, what you then do is you give the remaining 20% to somebody else. However, the concept is that you get them to give their 80% in the part that remains. What's brilliant about this is that if you have your 80% done, give it to somebody else and they do 80%, we are now way up there in the 96% of the task done. So we're almost closing out on 100%. Now, if you have a third level and you have great team and you have the ambition to push things down the line so that everybody participates, then that third person does 80%, and now we're up at 97.6% completion of the entire task. And that is just incredible because what happens is you get past perfectionism. Perfectionism is about being obsessed with the ideal, meaning it's got to be done my way. That's what perfection means. But actually, it's really nonsensical. Because if you do your 80%, pass it on to somebody else, get them to do 80%, the task is almost complete already. And procrastination is just your refusal, really, to take action right now when you need to. And you put it off. So let's say you put off sending out an offer to a client. That just slows you down. If you put off uh, dealing with an issue with an employee, just going to slow you down. Why? Because these things are going to lose you the deal or the problem is just going to grow bigger. So the idea is... You get out there, just get 80% done as fast as you can. And then by doing 80%, give it to somebody else doing 80%, you've already done 96%. So it means your progress is incredibly fast and a lot has been done. And what I want you to remember is this. If you understand this, 80% is good enough in 80% of the situations, 80% of the time. And this is really important most people will think that that's 100%. So if you get yourself going, do your part, give your contribution, go as fast as you can, and get out of the way, give it to somebody else, and they do their 
you're going to eliminate procrastination, you're going to improve the talent around you, and you're going to transform the way people feel. They're going to feel really amazing. So here's something that you got to do, really important for you. If you're stuck with something, a task, and it's just hanging around, ask yourself, why am I still doing this? Because if you can get it off your list onto somebody else's, you've done your part, the bit that's dragging you, holding you back, is probably the bit that you're not very good at. So get somebody else to do it. Get somebody else to put their talent in. Get somebody else to be amazing at what you're not good at. Okay? Now, remember this. At this phase, there are a lot of challenges ahead of you, and there are always going to be big challenges ahead of you. And so if you can do more with less, you're going to be a hero. Because the thing is, you've been chosen for the task you're doing. So whatever job you are doing today, you've been chosen. You were picked personally. Because in this market today, there are literally thousands of people out there who would love to do the job that you're doing. And so what is really important to remember is you've been chosen for that job. So what you need to be doing is saying, you know what, it's up to me. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give amazing results. I'm going to put, give my 100% performance to giving my 80%, passing it on to somebody else, getting them involved. And really at the end of the day, what it takes, it just takes you to do it. And that is the key. Keep in your head at all times. It just takes me to do it. And then you have amazing results. So what I want you to remember is this. Do whatever you can to get the 80% done and give it to somebody else. By the time they do their 80%, you're at 96%, which is probably way more than most people ever achieve anyway. Stay thankful, stay humble, and be proud of what you do, and be unique, and you will be awesome. Thank you so much for listening to this session. And if you need any help, let me know. This was Mark Dickinson. This is RLS, Rapid Learning Session. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks a lot.